Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Berlis and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without cost you anything extra. And all the links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so that you can jump to the point of your preference. And we start this week with a project coming from RPGC, the Southeast Asian tabletop RPG scene, which is Rock, Paper, Scissor, Duet, by Bianca Momatos, that we already had a pleasure to interview here on In The News. In this two-player microgame, the player characters are character bound by fate. You use Rock, Paper, Scissor to act out a final moment, but most of it is done through improv and role-playing. You can play as lovers, that turned rivals, lifelong nemesis, or any two people that are now in conflict. It can be a good way to start adventuring more into the improv side of tabletop RPGs, even more that you can explore it with someone that you feel comfortable, since it is uh, just a two-player game, so it's a very good way to start exploring this pillar of the whole game. Also, from RPGC, the Bill Payment Sa Savage Tier sale by Pamu is a reverse sale to help her to pay the bills as she is looking for a regular job. You have amazing games in a plethora of formats and appeals, from spreading good energy, love and admiration to a game of ghosts in a war machine having a last stand on an endless war and all that passing through a map making game about queer love and its trials. Pamu got range on her game, so you can check it out. And from RPG Latam, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene, this week we mention the latest release by Gontiju, it is Blurred Lines, a solo RPG inspired by Giallo Horror Cinema and Michelangelo Antonioni's Blow Up. You play as a crime photographer hunting down a serial killer and each turn you take pictures to investigate the bizarre crime scenes always making sure that you are not becoming the next victim. And the layout for this game is breathtaking as Gontiju is a really specialist in the layout part of all of their games and also he freelanced for a lot of other titles as well, so you should check it out. On top of that, if you buy the digital version before March 10th, so we still have some days, you can get the physical version or physical copy of the book for only five bucks. Okay, this is a great deal. Another release is She Traveled, She Stayed by Com Martin, available now in English and French. This game for two players is about nostalgia and regret. In it, you and a fellow witch had together a once in a lifetime adventure during a fateful summer. And now you meet again for coffee some 30 years later. After that summer, one of you went home and settled into a happy and perhaps an eventful life in the big city. The other had many adventures, even if it was a bit repetitive at times. So what are you going to talk about? How will it be this kind of seeing each other again for the first time in 30 years? And we also had the release of a new superhero cinematic universe tabletop RPG. Teenage Menace by W. H. Arthur in this game for 3 to 6 players, already including the Master of Ceremonies, the equivalent of Game Master or whatever, you tell the story of a young superhero battling villains in a society that hates them, that hates young people. And not just because they are heroes, they really hate young people. Different from other games in this series, this one has only one clock, which is heat. And this clock progression is mirrors what Arthur has seen in protests in real life. This clock is used to shape fiction as well as it can be changed by it by some moves from the game. So it's really a two way of deal with the clock. You should check it out. It has a great premise and this detail of having the clock inspired by real life protests uh, and the reaction of the media and all of that around it it's really the cherry on top of it, so you should give a look. On Gems, let's talk about Together We Jam that started this week with the premise to make old school and sword dream inspired content and systems based on the Together We Go system. You can create content for already existing games that were based on Together We Go, like 
Down we go and Dungeon Delvers Point TV TV actually, but you can also create completely new games. It is up to you. The Jam it provides the license for Together We Go. Like if you are doing something based on it, you should really check the license. And also an expanded creator kit, so that it can make the, your job much easier if you want to create something for it. So if you want to try your hand on it, this is a good opportunity to start in understanding licenses and also you have this creator kit to really help you on going this way. And as always I mentioned that gems, they are not just for someone that wants to submit something for the gem, but also someone that is looking for something in, in specific that fits with the gem. You can just see the submissions that are on it and then you can check it out and you can, we will have a plethora of titles that have the kind of vibe that you want. Okay, it has something like one month until to go, so you have plenty of time to check it out. And we talked already about the anniversary of Across RPGC. However, this week we will talk about that finally we will have a newsletter from it. You can already subscribe and the first mail is supposed to be sent uh, this week or perhaps from the time of the release of this video it just went out. So either way, you should check it out because it's a way to keep updated from the RPGC, the Southeast Asian tabletop RPG scene that I mentioned and across RPGC is a marvelous platform and it was made by Bianca Momotos that we mentioned before and it's making a huge impact and it's really beautiful to see how it was done and what it envisages. Okay, for this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works you can pay me a coffee on coffee. you can buy my games on itch.io, you can support me in a lot of different platforms. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about it, and I'll see you all in my next video. So, see ya!